Yeah, so, okay. I mean, we have the shot spotter, uh, the, the information that they send us that they've collected, and we, get, we can use that for what we need to investigate. Um, so whatever is supplied by them, and if I go, like, we'll take the most recent one, as we uh, noticed while we were sitting here, we can go ahead and, and click on that. And then I can do different views if I need to. I can look up a, a bird's eye view of where these shots pretty much within 25 meters came from. And it's the same thing that you just heard. I can do the same thing on my phone with the phone app um, and hear the same thing. So we get that information at the same time. There is a mobile app that's involved. The officers have it in their squad car and our dispatchers all get it simultaneously. Um, so if an officer's not in his or her car and they do have the app on their uh, smartphone or other uh, smart device, uh, they would get that notification as well immediately. Um, the same thing as we would on our PCs inside a, of the police station. Again, they'll be able to take it further. Uh, the officers are out there now uh, looking for signs of evidence or collecting evidence, talking to neighbors, trying to get witness information, and more importantly, try to hopefully uh, nobody has been uh, injured or, or killed during this. So that's what they do the whole time. Then they'll create a case report. Any evidence they'll find will be photographed, documented, and, and turned in. And uh, hopefully we'll catch the people that are doing this because those bullets are going to hit somebody uh, eventually and we don't want to take that chance on behalf of our community.